So, the YouTube algorithm gave me a break this past week. It picked up on my Silent Hill video about Pyramid Head, put it in everybody's recommended feed, and thus pushed me over the 50,000 subscriber mark. Of course, I am very grateful this happened, and to everybody who has subscribed, and I look forward to producing more content for you in the future. Naturally, because I hit the halfway point towards getting my silver button from YouTube, I figured I should celebrate somehow. Instead of of making it all about me, however, I figured I would give a shout out to my favorite YouTube channels so you can go subscribe to them and show them some love. The basic idea behind this list is simply this. If you like my content, I think you'll like these channels. You'll see every type of channel on this list. Comedy channels, gaming, movies. The only type of channel you won't see is political channels. Those are purposefully omitted because I know half my viewers wouldn't like my suggestions, which makes sense because, you know, today's politics are so split, right? 50% on the left, 50% on the right. I wanted to suggest channels that I think the majority of my viewers would like. If this irks some of you for whatever reason and you need to know about my politics, feel free to ask me about them for my Ask Max Anything video. Yeah, I also decided to do a Q&A video to celebrate hitting 50k, so if you want to ask me questions, click on the link in the description box to find out how. With that out of the way, I'm going to start off my list with three honorable mentions. Nomad Colossus. This guy would be on the actual list of my 10 favorite channels, but he's only an honorable mention because his content is so niche. Basically speaking, he does videos 90% of the time on one video game, Shadow of the Colossus. Despite that fact, Nomad's videos are some of the most fascinating I've ever witnessed on YouTube. His deep dives into the game's code and history are so thorough and enlightening, they can only be accurately classified as digital archaeology. Archaeology. If you like Shadow of the Colossus, subscribe to Nomad immediately. My second honorable mention is Logo Steve. You guys might already know him as the guy who inspired my video titled The Most Profound Moment in Gaming History. He did a similarly titled video nine years ago, which remains to this day my all-time favorite YouTube video. He is only an honorable mention because the dude hasn't put out much content lately, so please go subscribe to him so you can encourage him to do more. I promise you, it will be worth your while because when Logo Steve does a video, it's top notch. My final honorable mention is Rachel Moorefield. I came across her content less than a month ago and it has changed my life. Like myself, she is a mental health advocate and also strives to present the brutal reality of mental illness. She is only an honorable mention because her channel is dedicated to talking about her life after her son's suicide and you know, not everybody has the desire or wherewithal to watch videos about something like that. However, if you are dealing with mental illness, I I highly recommend you watch them because what you will realize after listening to Rachel's experiences is the true worth every human being has. She did that for me more than pretty much any person I've ever known. Anyways, with that out of the way, on to the actual list. Starting with number 10. My number 10 is Nuka Ellie, one of my only two Let's Players on this list. I picked Nuka Ellie because out of all the YouTubers I have come across, she has played more of my favorite games than anybody, and I love watching her play them. Whether it's Shadow of the Colossus, The Last Guardian, The Last of Us, and several horror games, she plays them with skill and reacts with genuine honesty. Not like many Let's Play YouTubers who overreact for the sake of entertainment. Oh, and of course, if you didn't guess by her name, she is a huge follow fan, which she also has played on her channel. If you like any of the games I just mentioned, I really think you'll enjoy Nuka Ellie. My number nine is Ragnaroks. Oftentimes in the comment sections of my game and movie analysis videos, I have been compared to Ragnaroks. Now what that basically means is if you like deep dives into narratives and symbolism, then you'll definitely love Ragnaroks. It's especially flattering to be compared to Ragnaroks because some of his videos are utterly brilliant. I think his video on the movie Jacob's Ladder is a masterpiece. If you are a fan of my Silent Hill videos, I highly recommend you subscribe to Ragnaroks for his analyses of the monsters, and their significance. If you're not into Silent Hill, subscribe anyways for his other video game related content, especially for his videos on old, more or less ignored games with great stories. My number eight is Accursed Farms. The man who runs this channel, Ross Scott, is responsible for my favorite YouTube series of all time. Freeman's Mind. If you are a fan of the game Half-Life and have never watched Freeman's Mind, do yourself the greatest favor you'll ever do as a YouTube user and watch Freeman's Mind. It is 
utterly hilarious. The basic premise of the series is what Gordon Freeman, the silent protagonist, is thinking while trying to survive an alien invasion. I won't say any more beyond that. However, besides Freeman's mind, Ross Scott does other videos that are very well researched and engaging. I recommend his series titled Ross's Game Dungeon, specifically his videos on the Deus Ex series. As well, check out his video Games as a Service is Fraud. It's a long video, but a mandatory video to watch if you consider yourself a gamer. My number seven, is Ask Hodge Twins. Look, humor is subjective, and you might not like their type of humor, but the Hodge Twins, they crack me up so much, man. Their basic shtick is making overtly sexual jokes, which you would think might get tired, but for me and millions of other people, it doesn't. While you should subscribe to their channel and watch their uploads, you should also check out some of the Try Not To Laugh compilations of their videos. They are brilliant, and they're made better when you watch other people try not to laugh to their videos. Give them a shot, watch one video, and if you don't like them, fine. But I know for certain that for those who like that type of humor, I am giving you a gift. My number six is Triple S League. These guys are a great source for gaming news. Now, full disclosure, one of the guys from Triple S League has paid me to do video work in the past, so take my compliments with a grain of salt. Having said that, I recommend these guys over others because they bring a level of professionalism and ethics to games journalism that most mainstream outlets do not have. They don't do things for clicks, they do it for the love of video games and the sanctity of the journalistic profession. By the way, if you're looking for to Cyberpunk 2077, which you should be, and want to be up to date on all the latest news, leaks, and behind the scenes stuff, you should absolutely subscribe to these guys. They are on top of Cyberpunk 2077 in ways that websites like Kotaku, Ars Technica, Rock Paper Shotgun, and IGN are not. My number five is Super Bunny Hop. This guy is probably my biggest influence when it comes to video game analysis. I could recommend any of his game reviews and throwbacks, but above all, his best videos are his Metal Gear Solid analyses. In particular, his video on Metal Gear Solid 2 is one of my top 10 favorite YouTube videos ever. All his videos are well researched and creatively edited. What's best of all is that even if you disagree with his opinion, you can always see the logic in his thought process. Super Bunny Hop's approach is what fandom needs, that healthy disagreement and debate that doesn't lead to flame wars, but merely really bolsters our love for games. My number four is John Campia. I have been following this guy ever since 2007, I think. Much like what I said about Super Bunny Hop, John Campia does his best to promote healthy discussion about things we love, except in his case, it's for movies. If you guys watch one or two of John's videos, you'll see how much my approach to argumentation has been influenced by him. When offering his opinion, he does it at a cautious pace where you can see how he came to his conclusions honestly and logically. For several years, I've tried to mimic his patterns of communication because he honestly does it better than anyone else that I know. I've never known somebody who loves movies as much as John does, so if you love the world of film, I implore you to give John's content a watch. My number three is CS188. This recommendation is almost purely for the members of my audience that are on the spectrum, like me. There is a genre of videos on YouTube called YouTube Poops. A YouTube poop is what happens when you take a pre-existing video and edit it together in an obnoxious, inappropriate, politically incorrect way. CS188 is the godfather of this type of video, not just because he was one of the first channels to do it, but because he's literally one of the best. If you want to hear Gautier sing about circumcision or Billy Mays talk about the benefits of prostitution, give CS188 a look. He always manages to make me laugh with his videos. My number two is Yong Ya. I only discovered this guy recently, but he has instantly become one of my favorite content creators. Yang Ya is a gaming pundit who reports on several stories in the world of gaming. While this might not sound special considering how many gaming channels there are out there that do that exact same thing, Yang Ya stands out for several reasons. Unlike many gaming channels where inflammatory commentary drives their clicks, Yang Ya always presents good news and bad news fairly. He'll criticize things harshly, but he'll never blow things out of proportion. He's only hard when something deserves harsh criticism. Otherwise, he presents well-researched videos and has a fantastic speaking voice. Best of all, if he gets something wrong or feels that he has been too inflammatory, he'll delete and correct himself. That's why he has almost 1 million subscribers, and that's why he's at number two. And finally, 
my number one might be a bit surprising. It isn't a channel that does any analyses, nor does it deal with mental health. It isn't a channel that reflects anything I do on my own channel. My number one is a YouTuber named Vash12349. I've been following Vash for over half a decade. He is a Let's Player who does playthroughs of various games, and that's pretty much it. But these playthroughs are some of the funniest things I have ever come across. To this day, with every video Vash puts out, he manages to say at least one thing that is so random or silly that it makes me belly laugh. If you've ever watched a video of mine where I try, you know, emphasis on the try, to be more comedic, you'll recognize that my humor is trying to parallel that of Vash. Hell, I'll even say some of his jokes and of course credit him immediately afterward. If any of you have ever enjoyed watching other people play games, I highly suggest you check out Vash's content. My favorite playthroughs of his are all the Resident Evil games, all the Metal Gear Solid games, the Dead Space games, and especially his Tamadachi Life playthrough. I'll link to a compilation video I did of Vash's Tamadachi playthrough in the description box below. That will give you an idea of how funny Vash can be. If I'm putting him at number one, that should tell you how funny I really think he is. And that's my list. Do you recognize any of the YouTubers I recommended? Is there somebody on here that you think should be that I might have neglected? Let me know in the comment section below. Stay tuned for my upcoming Q&A video as well as my upcoming video on Jacob's Ladder, both of which should be releasing within the next week. Until next time, stay yellow.